you introduce yourself to us, please? My name is Jerry McGuill. I am a native of Dundalk, born and bred in Dundalk. I went to school in the Maris College in Dundalk and then went to Trinity College where I did a degree in Business Studies and uh, the Higher Diploma in Education in, uh, in Maynooth. Uh, I was fortunate to be given a job, a teaching job, in, in my old school in the Maris College in Dundalk where I taught for 25 years and took on various roles during that time. Uh, I was extremely lucky and very, very privileged in 2002 to be appointed as Principal of Our Ladies in Castle Blaney uh, and spent 12 absolutely wonderful, uh, fulfilling and happy years here. Um, and I'm currently, I moved on then to work with uh, Cash who are the patron body for um, Our Ladies and us for 106 other schools in the country. Uh, and I'm currently uh, Chief Executive of that organisation. So why did you want to become a Principal? I suppose at the time I'd been involved in education for 25 years, uh, both as a teacher and in many other areas of school life uh, in the Marist and Dundalk, and during that time I'd kind of developed a view and an opinion of the type of school that I would like, to, wanted to work in and the type of school that I would like to lead. Uh, and I've always believed, as many people have, that schools are all about the kids. It's, it's really about doing the best you can for the students in, in, in the school. And I wanted an opportunity maybe to, to try and bring that about uh, by setting high standards and uh, high expectations uh, in all areas of school life and developing a culture of excellence right across the entire educational sphere within the school, uh, both in the classroom and outside the classroom in extracurricular, uh, within special needs, the spiritual life of the school and behaviour and pastoral care. And I like to think that we did succeed in doing that. Coming from a different school, as you did, was there anything you found different or strange when you arrived in Our Ladies? The two schools were very similar. Both were co-educational, they were roughly around the same size, they had similar ethos and similar values and traditions. Um, but there were differences uh, which I had to learn to, to, to get used to. Um, I suppose one was that the Marathon and Dock, uh, the student population was two-thirds boys, one-third girls. Whereas in Our Ladies, it was the other way around. It was two-thirds girls, one-third boys, which mightn't sound much, but there is a completely different dynamic there. Now, since that time, both schools would probably be close to 50-50. But the biggest culture shock for me really was the breadth of the curriculum in Our Ladies compared to in Dundalk. Uh, schools in Dundalk, uh, including the Marist at that time, were very traditional uh, and with a, quite a narrow focus in the sense of the established leaving certificate, the established junior certificate with very few practical subjects. Our Ladies was, was a very, very progressive school which had embraced uh, the full range of programmes, Leaving Cert Applied, Leaving Cert Vocational Programme, a compulsory transition year and the Junior Certificate Schools Programme. Uh, and also a wide range of practical subjects. So that took a bit of getting used to. Uh, in addition to that, our ladies had three special classes, something which I wasn't familiar with, but which I grew to absolutely be, be, be very, very passionate about and found probably the most fulfilling and satisfying part of the role. I'm sure that there was many challenges during your 12 years as a principal. Are there any that stand out? Well, I suppose leadership brings challenges, um, but it's not so much challenges, but how you deal with the challenges, really, that, that is, is the important thing. Uh, and I've always believed that challenges bring opportunities. Uh, and if you focus on the opportunities, uh, then the challenges don't seem so daunting. Probably the most challenging period during my time in Our Ladies was following the economic crash in 2008. Um, at that time, there were savage cuts to the funding of schools introduced, both in general terms and also in relation to vital programmes such as Leaving Cert Applied and Transition Year. There were also massive cuts to staffing, uh, and uh, all of that had to be managed. At the same time, there was a, a kind of a media teacher bashing campaign uh, nationally, which did demoralise the, the teaching profession on a, on a countrywide basis. Uh, and managing all that was, was challenging. But as a staff, we were determined that the students that we had, many of whose families were suffering economic hardship through unemployment, were not going to suffer and were going to receive the same educational opportunities that students before them had done. Uh, and we worked very hard to do that. And the commitment of the staff, the hard work of the staff, and going the extra mile was absolutely phenomenal at that time. And that was the opportunity, that was the positive that came out of those challenges. What were the greatest highlights or best memories of your time as principal of Our Ladies? Being Principal of Our Ladies was, is, is the most fantastic job anyone could have. 
Um, if you ask me to list highlights, there are so many and I, I will leave out some, but I suppose if we look in, you know, in the academic area, every year's Leaving Cert results, uh, scholarships to um, the, all the major third level institutions and that's just scholarships like the Nocklin and the McManus uh, entrance scholarships. Uh, the achievements in SciFest and Young Scientists, um, in looking at the sporting area, the uh, McLaren and All-Ireland uh, wins in 2005, the great days in Tala, um, uh, the national basketball titles in 2003, 2004 and 2012, the development of ladies GA in the school from humble beginnings to winning Ulster titles and playing at the highest possible levels, uh, the all-star awards that were there. If we, if we look at the musical area, six musicals, uh, the choir performing in Euro Disney, in Landauchlin in, in Wales where they won a world title. In art, <coughs> the Form and Fusion and the Marie Keaton Foundation uh, winnings there. The Green Flags, the um, visit of President McAleese in 2005. Uh, all of those were, were tremendous highlights. But if you talk about memories, most of the memories and the great memories are, have got to do with people. Uh, every year on the first day of the year when you see the new first years coming into the school. Uh, going to uh, the parish church for the Mercy Day Mass at the beginning of each year where the whole school community were together. Uh, the six years last day, the graduation ceremonies at that time, uh, the leave and start results, uh, they, you know, they were all fantastic memories. And it was an absolute uh, privilege to be principal of this school and principal of our ladies to work with an incredibly talented and hardworking and committed staff, uh, very generous par parents and the most amazing students that you'd ever come across. Not just a privilege, but they're the great memories that I have.